What's going on everybody, it's your boy Richard, and today we're bringing another type of tier ranking video, but today we're going to do zombie weapons only. We're not going to include the wonder weapons or anything, we're just going to do main weapons you get from the box or what buys. This should be fun, this should be different. Um, Annihilator, it's hot ass, it's terrible. Um, you get it from the box, it's a special weapon that charges up. It really can't shoot through zombies. It's a, usually just a one-shot kill. It's it's kind of hot ass. <laughs> Actually, it just is hot ass. The AK-74U. Um, I'm putting it at B tier. It's it's solid. There's it just there's a lot better guns. It has uh doesn't have a whole lot of ammo if I recall. It doesn't have a whole lot of ammo. It, it does get some attachments, though, because it's something you can't level up, so it gets, like, a red dot and a laser, if I remember right. It just... There's so many better guns in it. But it, it ain't too bad. The Banshee. Mmm. I won't put it out as, dude. It's a, it's a charged shotgun pump. Has six shots. It's... And it... It only goes in the direct way you fire. It doesn't have any spread or nothing. It's literally just like a a, a ball of energy. It's, it's it's ass, dude. I've I've used it like just a couple times because it's terrible. Is this the Bloodhound? The Bloodhound from Mob of the Dead. Um. I'll, I'll save it because I gotta think about. Mm, I never upgrade it. I know it's all right upgraded. I'm just gonna put a D tier. I mean, it's a starter pistol. It's not very good after like three rounds, and then you gotta wait to upgrade it. And it's just, I'll put it in D tier. There's only one starter pistol I can think of that gets ranked high on this list because it's actually really fucking good. BRM. Um, I'm putting BRM at, at C tier. It's, it's an LMG, has lots of ammo, uh, slower fire rate, long reload time. It's a wall buy for like 2000 coins on a couple maps. It's just, eh, no, I'm going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it in B tier. It's solid. It's, it's not bad at all. It's, it's just, there. like I said, there's just so many weapons that are better than it. There's no point to grab it. 1911. We're gonna put it in the same tier as the uh, Bloodhound. It's a, just another start. It's base. It's just another pistol, man. Another starting pistol. It's nothing crazy. Uh, it turns into the Mustang and Sally, which are all right. It just they're all right. Yeah. Crossbows, fucking dog shit. These things can't kill worth a damn. They suck so 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 bad. I think they get dual weld or they may come dual weld, but they're just terrible, man. Terrible. The the dingo. Dingo, in my opinion, is probably the best bullet gun in the game. Like, that's not a wonder weapon. I think the dingo may be the best. 80 rounds, fast fire rate. Actually, fast reload speed for a LMG. It has eight I think it has 80 rounds, 400 in reserve, and then it whenever it's upgraded. I think it stays at 80 around and 640 in reserve, something like that. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Draken. I'm gonna see Draken's hard for me, man. I'm gonna put it in A for now because it's it's so good. It's it's very good. It one shots forever. It's crazy. Fast fire rate. You get rapid fire, double tap on it. Put an Elo sight. Has fast mags. Things busted. Dredge. I'll put Dredge in C tier because it's better than these, but it's worse than these. Six round burst LMG. Kind of dog shit. It, it's I'm, it's all right. I you don't upgrade this gun. It's something I would not upgrade. I've done like you you know you do it to experiment, but other than that, it's kind of ass. Um, uh, but yeah, it's like it's. Just a six round burst LMG and the pause between bursts. It's like, brr, brr, brr. it's it's not good. <laughs> no, nothing good. Uh, the FAMAS B tier. Only reason why is 
it doesn't it runs out of ammo way too quick way 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 too quick it's great for points earning but it's not something I would want to use long term not at all it's very good though I, I do enjoy it it's something I'd get out of the box use for multiple rounds or rack up points but it's nothing some not something I'd keep Goyal uh, I'd put it a step above the FAMAS Goyal is very good uh, turns into the elimination I'm, like I said with these older weapons like the AK the FAMAS and the Goyal they all have the attachments already pre-placed on them so I, I think it has the red dot the laser sight the stock stuff like that very solid gun very, it's been around forever. Same with the Famas and the AK. And I, even back then, I would say the Glil is better than both of these. Uh, Gorgon, D tier. It's terrible. There's not any good thing about this gun, really. Slow fire rate, and you think it'd pack a punch? It's weak as shit. Doesn't even hit hard. I honestly think I'd rather carry around these two pistols upgraded over the Gorgon upgraded, 100%. Uh, the Haymaker. Uh, I'm putting in A tier. Only reason why, in my opinion, I think the other two shotguns are better in the Brecky and the KRM. Haymaker is busted. Shoe Shining gets 100, uh, has 25 bullets, 125 in reserve. Uh, fully automatic shotgun. Does crazy damage. It's super good for some Easter eggs, such as the uh, Shadows of Evil Easter egg. Gets him Mark Walls and the Meatballs. But the other two shotguns are just as good, if not better. So, that's why it's going in A tier. Very, very good, though. Uh, MB40, another one of those uh, going in B tier. It's it's like one of those wall buy guns you get at early rounds. Uh, the Afterburner, I mean, doesn't have lots of ammo, man. 64 bullets in the mag. And then it keeps the same 192 in reserve. It, it There's just no need to keep this gun long term. It's solid. At first, earns your points. But other than that, mm -mm, no, nah, I wouldn't keep it. All right, HK. I am a new believer in the HK. I'm putting it in a high B tier, and I may move to A tier. Reason being is it had a fuck ton of ammo for being a wall buy. It's like 1,600 points. It has like 30 and then 300, and then when you upgrade it, it gets 60 and 480. You get your own attachments on it, so you get your fast mags, you get your rapid fire, you get your long barrel, you get everything you want on it. Uh, it's it's very good, very 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 good. But that, you'll see a trend with like a lot of these uh, wall buy weapons that will be in like the B and C tier area. Like the ICR, in my opinion, I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's something I really don't like. It's kind of weak. Uh, only time I ever really use it is whenever I high round on Kino because you high high round on the stage and it's right there on the stage wall by and just pa pair it with a uh, double tap and uh, that's your daiquiri it's solid but it's just it's not very good at all the KN44 to me it's probably the best wall wall by AR I I go back and forth between this one and one other one but the KN, my only downfall about the KN compared to the other wall by ARs is its ammo count is pretty low in comparison. But you get a full auto, you get all your attachments, it hits hard. It just does not have the ammo capacity of some of these other ones. If it, if it had more ammo, if it had as much as, say, the HK, I'd put it in S tier. But since it actually has, I think it only gets 270 after you upgrade it, or maybe 360. That's three mags less than the HK. You know, it, it's that's things I gotta think about. You know, very good though, very very good. I, in my opinion, I think the best way to go, honestly, is buy wall by weapons in Black Ops Three. Coming in, <laughs> speaking of wall by weapons, KRM, it's S tier. KRM is a staple in like the Easter egg running, speed running community. You get wall power and you grab this gun. It is busted. It is very good up to like 20 to 30 rounds. So by then you're done with the Easter egg, you're done speed running. After 30, like 25, 30 rounds, it falls off pretty fast in comparison to some of these other guns. But for me, I do a lot of Easter eggs and I want to get into speed running possibly. It's, that's what I'm saying. It's just perfect, crazy damage. It can literally kill Margwells instantly before they even spawn all the way. 
it, it's too good not to have in S tier. Cuda, C tier. One of those wall buy guns you just buy for points, man. Honestly, I don't upgrade it. It's kind of ass. It, it's just nothing good about it. I mean, it doesn't have a crazy amount of ammo. It does. It's, it's weak. It, it's just not good all around. Uh, L4 Siege, I think most of the rocket launchers are dog shit. I mean, it has a purpose, I guess, but there's no, I see no need to use it. Uh, I never, I don't think I've ever upgraded this gun. Even if I did, you have to get, like, it feels like something you have to get flopper on. And the only way to really get flopper is, I don't even think you can get flopper on a lot of these maps. So, it's, it, I just see no need for it. Elkar. Uh, another one of those, actually. Um, n no, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put the L4 Siege in hot ass, dude. It's just a rocket launcher, it's hot ass. Um, Elkar, another one of those you just buy for points, you don't keep it long term. Uh, you use it like the three, four rounds you need it, rack up some points, make sure you stay alive, and then, um, uh, then you get rid of it, man. It's, it's not good. Uh, the, the Locust. I'll put Locust in C tier just for the fact that it can one shot. Just for the fact it can one shot. You put Rapid Fire, Fast Mag, Elo Sight, and then you get your uh, Double Tap and Deadshot Accurate, it one shots for a long, long time. It's actually super, super strong. Uh, it just, man, it, it has a faster fire rate. It just doesn't compare to the Draken whatsoever in, uh, in like, strength and shit. Um, the M14. So the M14 is actually pretty, pretty solid, but I'm putting it in C tier as well. It's it's one of those old guns get their own attachments. It's it's not something you keep long term. I'm trying to think of stuff that you'd like to high round with more often, and none of these guns down here you see people high round with. Like high rounds, you may see people run the HK. You may see somebody maybe have the BRM, but like this stuff, you'll never, I, I don't think you'll ever see anybody on high rounds running any of these guns because they're just, they're weak, man. They're just all weak. Um, M16, it's going to go up here with the B tiers. It'll, it'll go mid B tier. Um, it gets a grenade launcher on it. I can't think of the name of it whenever you upgrade it. You use it all the time. Uh, it's a wall buy on some maps, man. It. Whenever you upgrade it, it comes fully auto as a grenade launcher. Does solid damage. It's just, it's all right. It's fun to use. I use it occasionally if I get it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna use it. It's. I'm trying to think of these guns upgraded as well. Like I said, it's very solid upgraded. But I'm trying. I'm. You're gonna see a lot of guns in B and C tier because I feel like S and A are like t guns that are like if I get them, I'm gonna use them. Like, these guns are like, eh, I may use them, I may not. Uh, the M, is it 1927 or some shit like that? It's the Tommy gun. I'm putting it B tier. It's kind of a pea shooter. But this gun has 50 bullets, 350 in reserve, and then whenever you upgrade it, it has fucking crazy amounts of ammo, man. Uh, it's crazy for earning points. Uh, I, though, myself, am not somebody to actually... Use this gun, keep this gun. No, it's not for me. But I think it's very I think it's good for earning points, especially in Origins. It's it's a cheaper wall buy. You grab it. You can use it for hella rounds. Has so much ammo to earn lots of points. Um going on to the M8. I'm putting the M8 literally right neck and neck with the HK. Uh I love this gun. 48 or 32 in a mag. And then it has, uh, I can't think of how many it has before you start, uh, before you upgrade it. But I know when you upgrade it, it's 48 and then 480. It has a fuck ton of ammo for a gun this early on. Uh, it's strong, has a headshot multiplier. That's the one thing I do like about burst weapons is they have headshot multipliers. So it stacks on with your, uh, with your deadshot daiquiri. So with the double tap, headshot multiplier, and deadshot daiquiri, this gun can one burst in the head for a long 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 time it's i would like to put it up higher it's just like you have in my opinion it's like one of those things you have to have deadshot daiquiri with 
because of the because of the multiplier to the head. If it if it's full auto, I would put it up here right beside the the uh, the KN, but it's not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it high B tier. The Marshals. So if I remember right, the Marshals they either came in on Garad or on Revelations, and these things are like another one of those like Easter eggs like staple guns. They're busted. I'm putting them in A because I truthfully haven't used them a whole whole lot but they come dual weld and they're basically dual weld danger rangers upgraded they're very very good i have quite a bit of ammo honestly for a shotgun they do crazy amounts of damage and like i said they're easter egg staple i always see some like whenever i'm watching easter egg runs and shit like that like speed runs you always see somebody with the marshals they're too good now this was the one starter pistol i was going to talk about is this one oh shit is this one from Origins? This is another one of those speedrun Easter egg run staples. This gun, uh, I can't think of what it's fucking called. The Origins pistol. It gets a sniper scope on it. It gets like an ACOG sight on it. And it's basically a baby ray gun. That's literally what people call it as a baby ray gun. It does crazy damage. has crazy ammo. It is very, 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 very good. Ba I, I, what was I saying? Uh, people call, like I said, people call it the baby ray gun. Every time I watch an Origin speedrun, people just keep this pistol. I see a lot of this pistol, and I'll see a lot of the KRM on Origin speedruns on Black Ops 3, and that's all they'll use. Um, Origins LMG S tier. This gun is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's, I love its iron sights. Has crazy damage. Has loads, 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 loads of ammo. Uh, upgrade it still very strong and it deserves to be up here with the dingo only thing i like more about the dingo is like i said you get your own attachments for it whether this gets zero attachments but i'd still pick this lmg over every other lmg and if if i pick, find this in the box i'm letting go of all these weapons most likely this gun is crazy what is that is that the o og uh let's see what that is it looks like the OG MP40. It looks like another MP40 for some reason that's on here. Um, well, if it's the OG one, this one will have no attachments, and this one will have some. So if it's the OG MP40, it's it'll be worse than this just because this one has attachments. So, I mean, like I said, 64 bullets, 192 in reserve. There's nothing crazy about it. So I just don't see a need, a need to really use this gun. MR6, uh, D tier with the rest of the starting pistols. It's kind of dog shit, man. <laughs> it's not very good after many rounds. Uh, I never upgrade it. I see no need to upgrade it. Uh, we'll, we'll just move on. MA Grand. Um, MA Grand is actually really strong, but I want to put it in C tier. There's a couple things I don't like about it. One, because, uh, it's a top, like, it reloads from the top with a, I think it's with a clip. Uh, it'll... You have to shoot out your full ammo count before you can reload the damn thing. So, like, you can't reload it automatically. That's one thing I don't like about it. And two, it only holds eight bullets in a, in a clip. So, it's just... I don't see a need for this gun, like, at all. It's strong. It's... it's I guess you can call it fun to use. But that's about where it ends. Uh, Peacekeeper. I'm putting it right above the... Uh, AK-74U. I like it more than the AK-74U. It's like a SMG AR hybrid. Comes with its own attachments. Uh, strong. I think it has 30 bullets, 360 in reserve. It has loads of ammo. So, it's actually one of those. If I get it, I'll actually keep it just because I like the nostalgia factor of the uh, of the Peacekeeper. I miss the BO2 days, dude. This gun was actually really fun to use. Uh, the Pharaoh. Pharaoh is the oh, is hot ass. It may be the only bullet gun that I may put in hot ass, cause I I I would only thing no I, I don't I can't put it in hot ass. It's it's terrible, but it has one purpose, and it's the same as a lot of these other guns. This thing is a points earning machine, man. It's points earning machine. It has forty and one sixty, I think. It ain't gonna kill shit with those 40 bullets and 160, but you're gonna get a fuck ton of points from it. So, I'll, I'll put it in D. I'll save it from the hot-ass category. 
Um, PPSH. I love the PPSH. Ah, uh, no. I can't. I can't. I can't. You know, there's a gun on here that I don't see. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, PPSH. I, I'm going to put it in A tier for now. So this gun has a fuck ton of ammo. It has 32 to start off with. But if you upgrade, it gets 71. And like, five, like 600 something bullets in reserve. It has a crap ton of ammo. Fast fire rate. It hits. Eh, it's not super strong. But it has, like I said, the ammo count is what saves this gun. It's super, super good. It's almost like you never run out of ammo with it. And it's, it's like it. And it, it earns you a lot of points. I just I'm trying to think of things that are bad about it besides that it's kind of on the weaker side. But it has the high ammo count. It has high mobility because it is an SMG. Fast fire rate. And with double tap and Deadshot Daiquiri, it makes up for its weaker damage. Because a lot of people don't know with the new uh, double tap, it uh, gives you twice the damage. Plus the headshot multiplier. So... Uh, man, I, I can't put anything. I can't put everything I want to in S because that's just messed up. I it can't be Razorback D tier. It's another one of those points earner guns suck ass uh, It goes in the same realm as the Pharaoh and the L car. It's nothing you're gonna use long term It's weak as hell has more ammo than the rest of these guns, but slow fire rate because it, it hits weak. It's just a points earner um, RK, RK5. I'm putting RK5. I'm putting it up here in C tier. It's better than all the other pistols in the game. Besides, besides these two, because upgraded, these two are crazy. Um, but it's better than all the other starting pistols. You get it to start off with after you beat all the Easter eggs. Um, three on burst, uh, 15 in a mag, like 115 in reserve or some shit like that. Or 120 in reserve, something like that. It has... It does very well. Keeps you alive up to like probably around seven. This thing starts slowing off. Then you can upgrade it. And I don't think I can't remember if it becomes fully auto or not. But I know it has thir it's called like the Rex Caliber or something like that. And it's it's all right. It it just falls in the same realm. It's like it's one of those cheap guns that'll keep you alive for the first like seven ish rounds that are solid. So I'll put it right here in C tier. Mm. RPD. Call me crazy. There's, I'm putting an S tier. Uh, it's just it's another one of those hundred has a hundred rounds, six hundred in reserve. It already has a, your attachments for you, but it faster fire. It's like a medium fast fire rate. Hits hard. Everybody knows it hits hard. It feels like you never run out of ammo, dude. LMGs are so good in zombies. You, Of course, you need stamina up and stuff like that, but they're so good in zombies. So, so good. And this isn't even on, like, a, a crap ton of maps. It's on only a select few, like, of the older maps, but it's so good. Bootlegger. Bootlegger from, uh, what's it fucking called? Shadows of Evil. D tier. Gun's terrible, man. I don't like it one bit. It's like the Sten, it's weak, uh, doesn't do a lot of damage, and never really upgraded, doesn't have a whole lot of extra ammo. It's like 32, and is it 160 or 192? Either way, not a whole lot of ammo. Nothing I really see pleasant about this gun, besides its iron sights are nice. It's just not very good. STG, um, I'll put it up around the BRM range. This gun... Uh, it's only in, uh, Origins if I can think of. It's very, it's very solid. I buy it. I upgrade it occasionally. It's a wall buy. It's right beside the, uh, the ice staff location. So it's in a good spot. It's like right beside the church. That's usually where we build the shield at. It's around the church. Uh, either we build it around the church or by a uh, jug. So it's a good, it's an all right location. Uh, you gotta go there quite often so it's like you see you catch yourself running past the stg a lot so it's good just if you ever need ammo so i'll put it in b tier all right these next three guns i'm gonna rank them all together 
I'm gonna put them all upper C tier, and they all serve the same purpose for me: points earning. All of them are weak. All of them have decent amount, of, or the Vesper don't have as much ammo as the other two. So I mean, I'll just put it in the end. But they're all in the same. They're all in the same rank. They all are weak, fast fire rate SMGs. They get you lots of points very fast. The Weevil is notorious for just being points earned. 50 bullets turned 50 in reserve, man. It's these guns will get you bread. So like the VMP costs like 1,200 or 1,300. The Vesper costs 1,000, and the Weevil you get out of the box. You will earn your money back from these three guns so damn fast. It don't even matter. It it don't even matter. Like. And the good thing about them, you get you put your own attachments on every single one of them. Uh, and then the last one, another launcher. It's hot ass. Okay, so there's one or two guns that I don't see on here. Let me. So the brekkie is not on here. In my opinion, the brekkie goes up in S tier as well. It's basically I'll put the Dra so it's basically the Draken. Draken's going to S tier. I'm sorry, it's going to S tier. So it's basically the Draken. It's it's a uh, semi-auto shotgun with crazy range. So it's like if the the Haymaker and the KRM had a baby, it'd be the Brecky. Uh, it's crazy range, 24 bullets, lots of extra in reserve, and it's basically full auto with how fast you can shoot it. But it's I like it more than the Haymaker. Only reason the KRM is higher is because it's a wall buy, and uh, with wall power, you get an upgraded KRM by round one because it's literally right out of spawn in all the maps. Basically, every zombie map. So, I'd put the Brecky right here in S tier as well. Let me let me look over this. Let me look over this list. See if there's any other changes I would do. Okay, so... Yeah, I think this is alright. So, A tier, I would have the KN over these two. HVK and the MA. Only, only thing I really see is maybe them two go up. But, I don't want so many gun, or guns in A tier. But, like I said, I find myself more often buying one of... I, I buy myself one of these four wall buy guns more than anything else. The KRM, the KN, or one of these two. I think just because they're wall buys and you can buy ammo anywhere makes them so much better than any other gun on this list. To be honest, but if you're going off of like damage and everything, I if if I find the dingo out of the box, I don't care. I'll get rid of any gun in the game. Dingo is just so much better than everything else. But that's gonna be my tier list. Uh, you guys can decide in the comments anything you would change. I appreciate all the support you guys been giving me on streams and everything. I appreciate all y'all. Alright, if there's anything y'all need to say in the comments, just let me know. Peace out.